So Dr. Rob doesn't know you want to slow things down? I never even got a chance to speak to him alone. It was a total ambush. Amy, if you're not ready to do something, then you shouldn't do it. But Amy is getting a house out of it. Seems like a pretty sweet deal to oh, me. Oh, great. Let's just be exploited then. Oh, I wouldn't call it being exploited. Yeah, snap. OK, what, what I'm trying to say is we shouldn't be letting men's desires dictate what we want to do unless we want to do it. It's kind of like you and your lingerie cleaning. Well, that was about keeping the debt collectors at bay. OK, but say that a client came to you, right, with more money and offered to take things further. <laughs> Seriously, come on. No, no, I just don't think you should be forced to talk about that stuff. Oh, it's fine. I owned it. And I was propositioned quite a few times. But I never went there. Some of the other girls did. Yep, and I bet they regretted it. Right? I, I think it's completely different when you're being paid to get physical. <sighs> well, the girls always said that they were comfortable with the choice they were making. Some of them even felt empowered by it. So, I guess it's no one else's business but theirs. <laughs> Anyway, I need to go to the loo. Oh, I had no idea you were such a conservative snorefest. I'm just, I'm worried that you're not thinking clearly because you're attracted to this Piers guy. Like Amy said, as long as I'm comfortable, that's all that matters. So, like.